Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the improved audio version for the 64 gig RAM upgrade guide for the Lenovo ThinkPad T480. Without further ado, let's get to it. As always, we start by removing the external battery. Set that to the side. Log into your BIO settings to disable the internal battery. I had someone ask me before why I always include this step in my videos. There was another comment that said that he wished he knew there was a way to disable the internal battery before frying his backlight fuse. But it's always best not to skip this step. So you go to config, power, and disable built-in battery. The screen should turn black like this, and once it does, just verify that you don't have any residual power in there. Once that's done, you can go ahead and open the laptop up. So on the underside of the T480, there are six screws holding the lower cover on. Let's go ahead and unscrew them. The screws are supposed to be held on to the lower cover by plastic clips on the other side, but the plastic clip on this one has already worn out, allowing the screw to completely detach from the lower cover. Watch out for that so you don't lose any of the screws. If your T480 still has a rubber cap here covering the port beside the USB-C, make sure to remove this before attempting to remove the lower cover. To remove the lower cover, you start from one of the rear corners, open it like so, work your way forward, proceed to the other side, make sure the front edge is completely detached. If it's not, you start from both front corners and work your way to the middle. Detach this rear rib right here by slowly working your way from one side to the other. And once all of that's done, remove the lower cover completely by raising everything up and slowly sliding it rearwards. There you go. Before we get started with replacing the RAM, I'd like to address a common question I encountered in the first version of this video. A lot of folks asked if 64 gigs of RAM were really compatible with the Lenovo ThinkPad P480 since official documentation only stated 32 gigs as the maximum. Rest assured, a lot of folks have seen success with this setup, myself included. I can only guess that the reason why the documentation states 32 gigs of RAM to be the maximum is because 16 gig modules were the largest in existence at the time of writing. With that out of the way, let's get on with the job. To remove the memory sticks, you just pull on these two tabs here and slide them out. As stated earlier, we're going to be installing 64 gigs of RAM in total today. I particularly like this brand because they use SK Hynix modules on every one of them. To install the RAM, just slide it in like so and press down until you hear it click. If you're enjoying this video so far, I hope you don't mind clicking that subscribe button down there. I'm currently chasing a thousand subscribers and will really, really appreciate all the help I can get at the moment. Now we've finished everything, it's time to reinstall the lower cover. As always, we carefully place it on top and slowly work our way around the perimeter of the laptop. Break this rear edge right here since it always needs a little more attention. We can then tighten the screws one by one. And don't forget the screw that totally came off the lower cover earlier. And don't forget to reinstall the external battery. Boot it up. Go to the Performance tab in Task Manager. And once you see all the memory you installed correctly read, you're good to go. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more of these DIY guides, please feel free to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, I promise not to spam your feed with clickbaity thumbnails and the like. There should be some more DIY videos popping up right about now. If you're interested in any of them, feel free to click away. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.